Hi everybody, welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So before we get into some Major League Baseball action for May the 20th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP Club section, which again, as you see across the top here, has all these great tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is well underway. We're quarter of the way through the season and a lot of teams are playing very well, uh, making good pushes. Uh, to show if they're going to be contenders for this year. Uh, there's quite a few games for Monday the 20th. Uh, we're going to look at five of those games. And the first one we want to look at is the San Diego Padres and the Atlanta Braves. San Diego comes in ice cold down. You can see losers over their last three and just two and four over their last six. Well, Atlanta is four and two over the last six and average status at the moment. Although only 22 and 24 in the season, the Padres are very good, 12 and 8 on the road, and Atlanta is 15 and 5 at home. If you take a look at the over/under, the teams have been trending in games over the line over the last three contests. Uh, the score prediction has Atlanta by an 8 to 4 margin of victory, and the confidence of the prediction is at 64 percent. Neither team has uh, named their starting pitcher as of yet. On the power ranks indicator, you can see both on the downward trend here at the moment, Atlanta is at plus 21. And San Diego has fallen sharply from 16 down to 8 over the last couple of days. Head-to-head uh, -head wise, you can see earlier in the season, they were uh, actually they played. Actually, no, this was the last year. They did not play it this year. They played it very early last season, finishing all their games between the two teams in April. So that really has no bearing on this matchup this weekend. Uh, the stability factor. You see Atlanta is extremely consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at 13, and San Diego is very inconsistent, just sitting there at zero. Um, I like this one to be uh, Atlanta pretty easily, actually. I like Atlanta in a game over the line. White Sox and the Blue Jays. Next one we want to look at is the Mets and the Guardians. You can see here the Mets are coming in just two and four over the last six. Nice cold up. And Cleveland is average down, coming off of a four to nothing loss, and they are three and three over their last six games as well. Um, if you look at the over under, you can see Cleveland involved in games under the line in four out of the last six, while the Mets involved in games over the line in four out of the last six. So it makes it a little bit hard to bet the over under when there's uh, the teams are on opposite sides of the line. Uh, the score prediction has Cleveland by a six to five score with 57 percent confidence in the prediction, and this is going to change a lot over the next couple of days until. The games are being played on Monday. Um, so just take a look at that as the weekend goes on. On the power ranks indicator, look at Cleveland, a sharp decline from 23 down to 6 in just two days, while the Mets made a sharp increase from 16, or excuse me, from 0 up to 14. Okay, if we take a look here at the head to head matchup, the teams have not met this season as of yet. And the volatility oscillator, as we always like to look at, it shows how consistent the teams are with regard to favored underdog status. You can see here, the, no, both lines are up and downward, showing uh, very much inconsistency. And overall, three for Cleveland and zero for the Mets. So not very consistent with regard to their favored underdog status. Um, Cleveland has a plus 48 to minus nine run, run differential edge. That is a pretty wide margin. And I like them at home in this one, so go with Cleveland, but passing on the over-under. I'm walking Miami. The next game I want to look at is Seattle and the New York Yankees. Both teams coming up uh, first place in their divisions in the American League. Seattle average up, going 4-2 and two over the last six. The Yankees burning hot after winning their last four. The last two by shutouts. And look at the scores here. In the last three games, they only gave up one run against Minnesota, outscoring them 14 to 1. So, they're really playing really good ball at the moment. And because of the low scores allowed, uh, they've been involved in games under the line in the last three. And Seattle has been involved in games under the line in the last two. The score prediction has a higher score in total for the Yankees, 9 to 1 over Seattle. But the confidence in the prediction is still rather low at only 31%. In the power ranks, the Yankees up here at the top, plus 29. Seattle on an up and down we're trying you can see the line here up and down I mean really up and down down as low as plus six at May the 12th skyrocketing to 27 and now sitting at plus 23. Head to head the teams have not yet met this season so this is the first meetings 
Um, in the end here, I like this one to be a Yankees win at home, but I'm going to go with a game under the line. Detroit and Kansas City. Baltimore and St. Louis. Here's another one I want to look at. Baltimore coming in just a game behind the Yankees in the AL East. They are average up 4-2 and two over the last six, breaking a two-game losing streak by defeating uh, Toronto in their last game. And the Cardinals had won three in a row and they had lost that streak 7-2 to two against the Angels, and they are average down. The teams are trending in games on opposite sides of the line. If you see here, the Baltimore, their last two under, uh, St. Louis, the last three over. The score prediction has a 9-1 to one blowout in favor of the Cardinals. But again, take this with a grain of salt because it's 34% confidence, very low level of confidence in the prediction on this one. The power ranks indicator, Baltimore plus 22 in St. Louis dipped significantly over the last couple of days from 22 down to plus 5. What I like about the Baltimore is they're very good on the road as well as at home. They're 12 and 5 on the road. And the Cardinals are just 6 and 11 at home. I mean, it's a really a bad indication to pick the Cardinals in this one. And if the stability factor is any indication, uh, Baltimore is a little bit more stable than the Cardinals at 4 to 2. In the end, I like this one to be the Orioles game by at least three runs in a game going over the line. The Angels and the Astros, this is the last game we want to look at. In this AL West battle, uh, the teams are heading in opposite directions. You can see the Angels ice cold up just two and four over the last six. And the Astros, after a terrible start, are burning hot now after winning five straight. If you look at the over-under, teams have been involving each over the line. Both uh, teams four games over in their last six. The score prediction has the Astros in a 8-2 to two blowout. Only 51% level of confidence, though, at the moment. Houston here near the top of the league, uh, stable over the last couple of days at plus 27. And you can see the Angels up and down on their trend. They were plus 23 back on May the 12th, dipped all the way down to two, and they're back up to uh, plus 15 at the moment. Head to head, the teams have not yet met this season. Kind of a surprise being that they are in the same division. So they will have a lot of games against each other uh, the rest of the way. Uh, volatility. Houston more consistent. Just recently, though, they were pretty inconsistent because, you know, they good, expected to be a good team, expecting to win off to a bad start. But over the last several days, they've increased that consistency by winning games that are, they are expected to win. And I expect them to win this one as well. Let's go with Houston in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for May the 20th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.